10 out of 10 game. What a good boy. You know, I never knew how much I could appreciate a load screen until this game. Because I could have watched this forever. I don't think I need to tell you that this game is just damn amazing. I'm sure a lot of people have just kind of assumed that by now. Even if it wasn't good, you can't, you can't help but appreciate the work that has clearly been put into this game. I mean, just look at the art style and the music. The music is great. I mean, that, that's that, that's all I got. The music, it's just it's just damn good. Like I don't know what else to say. It's just really fucking good. Like I might be into jazz now. I, I think I I think I'm into jazz now. Allow me to remind you that this game is entirely hand drawn. The variety and sheer creativity involved for each and every boss enemy level, it's just wildly creative. It's so refreshing to see in a video game. You can play this game and immediately see the creator's vision stay true throughout the entirety of the game. I do love how a good number of the bosses essentially die and the final phases are them already dead still trying to kill you. And it's just goofy things that kind of pile on top of each other that keep the humor alive while you're yelling obscenities at the game because you die for the eighth time in the same phase from the same attack. It's a, it's a, fr it's a frustrating game. It's, it makes you sad. But it's really good. Considering the amount of times you hear an introduction for a fight. A brawl is surely brewing. Here's a real high class bout. A great slam and then stop. This match will get red hot. Good game for a well battle. You're up. None of them managed to get old, even when I was stuck for forever. It, it just, it's little things like that that they've done so well that they made fast enough but it's still introductory, and it's not bothersome. That's just, oh my god, like, good good job, good job. And there's just so many little things about this game that just make it so good. Like the result screen, it's just clear cut. Here's why you got what you got. You got zero out of three for these. You got six out of six. You got all of these things in very clear cut numbers, and it's not high, like a huge amount of things. It's just, don't tank damage, do the parries, and you know, have it. Don't don't rely on a super. It's it's very clear cut. If you want to go for the you know A plus ranking, which I only got like twice, I think. Now, there's no health bars, which you could probably argue either way for. You know, and for having and not having. I personally didn't really care too much because when you inevitably die, you're shown the progress that you've made with a little flag, and it's nice and cute. And you're like, oh, I was close that time. It just adds a nifty little layer of suspense of not knowing when you're gonna kill whoever or just die. Then comes that immediate rush. This game is just heckin' satisfying. Any boss, any level, it just gives you a huge rush. Yeah, yes, I did it. Jesus, goddamn hell game, I died so many times on this damn dragon, I hate it. Literally an hour and a half. I had to stop for a while because I was so tilted. Then I bought the charge gun in the roundabout and beat it on the second try. I am not exaggerating. Literal second try. I, it felt really good, but also it was like, <laughs> that's all, maybe that's all I had to do. The gameplay is awesome. Okay. I mean, for such a simple concept, it's, it's pretty damn awesome. What in the fuck is this? The only time I kind of argued the game with the hitboxes were the goddamn cards here. This, this, was, this was bullshit and very, very frustrating. <laughs> but all of the game, no, no, no. It, it played incredibly well. You know, there's a lot of games out there where the controls just don't really feel right 100% of the time. This game nice. was there all the time. If you did something, you were like, ah, I, I did that wrong. It's, it wasn't like, oh, that game really fucked me there. Except for the cards. The cards, you know, uh, you know definitely. You know, the cards in the dragon. Fuck this dragon. Fuck the dragon. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's not an easy game. It's not, like, the hardest game ever. But, I mean, you gotta learn it. You know what they didn't have? Force death. Extra 30 bread riot points. Good job. I, I didn't like that. It's certainly not the hardest thing in the world. But you're definitely going to have a tough time on some of the bosses or levels. I never had to retry so many times in my goddamn life just from taking one damage early on. And, like, for me, fuck that. Fuck that dragon. I screw, screw that dragon. I hate that dragon. I right, stop having your way with me. You're done. Fuck. That's I, I, got, I already beat him. I'm, I'm already over it. I'm totally over fuck. it. It's fine. It took me about nine hours to play through the whole game. Playing everything. I mean, you know, not skipping it. Seven and a half hours of game. About one and a half hours of wanting to kill myself on the goddamn dragon. I mean, it's, it's, if you can't learn the phases and play the game correctly, you're, you're not going to progress very much at all. Like, 
I'm, I'm pretty certain there's some people out there that are not going to be able to finish the game on normal. Legitimately. Which, if you've played it, I think you'd agree with me. You know, it's a very, it's a very straightforward style of gameplay, which makes it all the more impressive of how different they made everything feel. Not just in the gameplay, in the setting, the character, the art style. God damn it, it's so impressive. It's just, it's just awesome seeing everything in this old cartoony car <laughs> art style. It's so, it's just nice. I like it. It's cool. I'm, uh, I'm fine. At no point when I was fighting a boss did it feel like a boss that I had previously fought before. Maybe an ability or two with the swaying up and down ties, but that's probably because I spent an hour and a half seeing that damn fireball fuck. <laughs> I mean, if there's one thing, I wish that there was just more run and gun levels. That's just kind of like a want. I just kind of want that. It's definitely not a downside. There's just not a lot of them. But I imagine how much like more work that must be as well. It, it's, it's irrelevant. You know, I just like I like the running guns. You know, they're fun. They were they were just extra fantastic to me and ex and stressful. And God, this game was stressful. I mean, and now now that I've played it, also I feel like I'm really excited to see speed runs of this game, because those will be crazy. And they'll probably finish the game in like 30 minutes and never die. And then I could be amazed and feel bad at the same time. But you know, it's still confusing to me. Is that I'm, I'm sure most of you have seen. This, this little clip of uh, a, what is it, a game journalist that just couldn't do this part of the tutorial. And quite frankly, I'm, I'm just, I'm more baffled now than I was when I watched it. Tap for jump, hold for high jump. Oh my god, that's what he got stuck on? Are you serious? You know, at a time where every game out there just has a form of checkpoint, a way to heal, and just general leniency in a lot of different aspects. Aspects? Aspects. Aspects. Anyways, this this game is it's it's incredibly refreshing. It's it's amazing that everything about it just screams innovative and new. But even though the art style is meant to look old, it's it's confusing. I don't know it. It's fant it's a good. 10 out of 10. Out of 10. Uh, gets a big old yes oh. out of 10. Good job, Cuphead, for living up to your hype. You know, this it didn't have enough. enough. Uh, 10 out of 10 out of 10. 10 loading boys out of 10. More loading. Get all the, all, give me all the loading boys. These are the best boys. Uh, th this is the new best boy. Maximum load boy. Uh, go ahead, Cuphead, if you make uh, some merchandise or plushies. Please make loading boy. I will buy ten of them. And put them over ten more loading boys.